Hey guys and welcome to another Exilon video. This one's going to be about key bindings and although you'd think most of it's going to be on the keyboard, the most important thing to worry about is your mouse. Here I have the Razer Lachesis and it's a pretty basic gaming mouse. It has two buttons on each side, scroll wheel, and like I said it's a pretty basic gaming mouse. The reason why I say it's important to identify the mouse you have is because before you start binding your spells to your keyboard, you want to try to put as much as you can on your mouse because if you get really hardcore into key bindings, you're gonna lose, you're gonna run out of space on your keyboard, and so if you can put a lot of spells on your mouse, it's gonna help a lot in the end. One method I know that some people use is instead of using Control Shift and Alt on the keyboard, what they'll do is say when you're holding down this button, you'll have Shift. When you're holding down this button, you'll have Control. When you're holding down the the mouse wheel button, you'll have Alt. I don't really like that method to be honest. I find it's kind of redundant. You're just moving the three from the keyboard to the mouse, and you're not really using better buttons you're just kind of moving them to a certain place so I really advise putting spells on the mouse because you can use shift control alt modifiers on all these buttons and you can put a lot of spells on your mouse you want to add as many spells as you can to your mouse but don't clutter your mouse just to avoid cluttering your keyboard additionally some mice have buttons on certain sides that are uncomfortable to hit don't bind spells to those buttons if you find yourself unable to accurately hit them. Initially, Blizzard gives you the opportunity to turn with your keyboard and also move backwards. However, in comparison to turning with the mouse, this method is extremely slow. These abilities should be unbound to be able to place more spells on your keyboard. Unfortunately, not all of us are blessed with hands the size of Andre the Giants. Therefore, you need to identify your reach across your keyboard. I prefer not to bind anything to the right of 6 across my entire keyboard because I find that I'm too inaccurate when trying to hit those keys. Now that you've identified your reach, you want to begin filling your keyboard with the spells you use most. Even if they have a long cooldown, if you are using them in every fight, you should have them on an accessible key around your movement keys. Now that most, if not all of your keys are bound to spells, you need to start thinking about the modifier keys. Place your fingers on the keys and play around with them, and evaluate which ones are most comfortable to you. I am most comfortable with control, so I begin filling spells into that modifier first, and then go on to shift and then alt. Now that you are on your final and least comfortable modifier key, these should be spells that you are not using very often in combat. These are spells like summoning extra pets, creating consumables, or buffing your party members. Here are a couple general keybinding tips to help you get used to keybindings. First, you want to start off slow. When I first started, I went cold turkey and bound every spell I had. Now that was great and everything, but it took a long time to get used to and it felt very alien when I first started. Next, if you're having troubles finding what spells to put on what keys, look for templates. When I first started, I grabbed Drake Dog's key bindings and then modified them for my preference. Last but not least, practice. Battlegrounds are awesome for this. Now that I've indicated how to go about creating key bindings and the general thought process behind them, here are a couple of clips showcasing both my keyboard and my mouse during combat in Battlegrounds. Please note that these clips are nothing special and they were recorded only for showing the keyboard and mouse movement. 